Ceramic and stone tiles are the ideal surface coverings because they are beautiful, durable, hygienic, and easy to maintain. However, two common concerns with tile are that they are prone to cracking and can be cold to the touch. With the DITRA heat system, the benefits of tile are enhanced with the comfort of electric floor warming to bring a touch of luxury into any room of the home. The DITRA heat system is the only electric floor warming system that incorporates uncoupling technology to ensure that tiles and grout aren't susceptible to cracking. DITRA heat combines the flexibility of loose heating cables with the ease of installation of mat systems. Cables can be placed wherever floor warming is desired to produce customized zones or placed throughout the room to warm the entire floor. Heating cables are quickly and easily installed without clips or fasteners. Self-leveling compounds are not required to encapsulate the cables. Instead, tile may be installed immediately after the cables, which significantly reduces installation time and effort. The DITRA heat membrane minimizes assembly thickness for easy transitions to lower surface coverings. It provides the thinnest possible assembly. DITRA heat duo offers the same functions as DITRA heat, but features a thicker bonding fleece, which provides the additional features of integrated sound control and thermal break. DITRA heat duo reduces impact sound transmission through floor assemblies, making it ideal for multi-story construction. The integrated thermal break results in significantly faster floor warming response time over concrete substrates. The DITRA heat system combines electric floor warming, uncoupling technology, and quick and easy installation, making it the ideal solution for bringing comfort to any tiled floor. The DITRA heat system consists of the DITRA heat and DITRA heat duo on coupling membranes, heating cables, thermostats, and power modules. DITRA heat is an uncoupling membrane with a cutback stud structure and an anchoring fleece laminated on the underside. DITRA heat duo features the same cutback stud structure, but also includes a dual function impact sound control and thermal brake layer laminated on the underside. The membrane reduces impact sound transmission through floors and provides faster floor warming response time over concrete substrates. The DITRA heat and DITRA heat duo membranes serve as universal substrates for tile coverings by providing the same four functions as DITRA, the original uncoupling membrane. DITRA heat EHK are twisted pair heating cables that are specifically designed for integration into the DITRA heat uncoupling membrane. They are available in both 120 volt and 240 volt versions and a range of lengths. The cables can be installed without returning to the thermostat and produce virtually zero electromagnetic field. DITRA heat E thermostats are digital thermostats with remote floor temperature sensors that control the heating cables operation. They feature built-in ground fault circuit interrupters of the Class A type and support both the 120 volt and 240 volt cables. DITRA heat ERT is a programmable thermostat featuring a three and one half inch display with touchscreen functionality. It accommodates six programming periods per day and can track and log power consumption. DITRA heat E Wi Fi thermostat is operated via LCD touchscreen controls. It can also accommodate up to six programming periods a day and can track and log power consumption as well. But when connected to Wi-Fi, the thermostat provides convenient monitoring and adjustment of the floor warming system via the web or mobile app. DITRA Heat ER is a non-programmable thermostat with simple on-off operation. The DITRA Heat ERR power module may be used with any of the DITRA Heat E thermostats to have a single point of control in large floor applications when the heating load exceeds the 15 amp thermostat limit. The DITRA Heat E kit is an all-inclusive package containing the DITRA Heat uncoupling membrane, heating cable, 
and DetraHeat ERT programmable thermostat or the DetraHeat E Wi-Fi thermostat. Combined, the DetraHeat components produce a simple and effective system to provide comfortable and durable tile floors. Schluter DetraHeat and DetraHeat Duo provide four essential functions to address the challenges presented by common tile substrates. DetraHeat is an uncoupling membrane with a cutback stud structure and an anchoring fleece laminated to the underside. DetraHeat Duo features the same cutback stud structure, but its thicker bonding fleece provides impact sound control and a thermal break. Heating cables are snapped between studs without clips or fasteners. The studs also create free space within the DetraHeat and DetraHeat Duo membranes. The membranes are bonded to the substrate using thin set mortar. Heating cables are placed wherever floor warming is desired. Tile is installed over the membranes using the thin bed method. No need to encapsulate the cables in a leveler and wait for it to set. The membranes are filled with thin set mortar and additional mortar is combed over the top. The tiles are embedded in the mortar and grouted. The heating cables warm the floor for comfort underfoot. Now, we'll demonstrate the four functions common to Ditra Heat and Ditra Heat Duo. All floors will expand and contract with changes in moisture content and humidity at a different rate than the tile. Ditra Heat and Ditra Heat Duo provide uncoupling through their geometric configuration, which allows the substrate and the tile to move independently. This prevents the substrate movement from building up stress in the tile covering that could otherwise cause damage, like cracks. Raising and lowering the floor temperature causes the tile and substrate to expand and contract at different rates as well. The uncoupling function neutralizes the resulting stresses. Floors will also bend and deflect under load. The uncoupling function prevents this movement from causing damaging stresses in the tile covering as well. Tile coverings are not waterproof. Water can get through the tile covering to the substrate below. DetraHeat and DetraHeat Duo provide reliable waterproofing to protect moisture-sensitive substrates from water exposure. The free space on the underside of DetraHeat and DetraHeat Duo provides a route for excess moisture and vapor to escape from the substrate. This vapor management function allows for tile installation over concrete cured less than 28 days and concrete on grade passing vapor. Loads are transferred from the tile covering through column-like mortar structures formed in the membranes to the substrate below. This design ensures tiles are properly supported when exposed to traffic. In addition to the four functions common to each membrane, Ditra Heat Duo reduces impact sound transmission through floor ceiling assemblies. This is particularly beneficial in multi-story buildings, such as apartment or condominium complexes. It also provides a thermal break to improve floor warming response times. This means less waiting for a comfortably warm floor. The integration of uncoupling, waterproofing, vapor management and support addresses the challenges presented by common tile substrates, such as plywood, OSB, concrete, and gypsum. This makes DetraHeat and DetraHeat Duo universal underlayments for ceramic and stone tile. The Schluter DetraHeat Installation Handbook includes comprehensive installation guidelines and warranty criteria for the system. After finding the applicable detail and confirming that all requirements can be met, we start planning the required materials and quantities. Tape has been applied to the floor and the areas where fixtures such as vanities and the toilet will be located. The DetraHeat or DetraHeat Duo uncoupling membrane is applied wherever tile is to be installed, typically over the entire floor. Measure the floor surface to receive tile and calculate the corresponding area. 
select a sufficient quantity of membrane to cover the area. The heating cables may be installed to produce customized zones or throughout the room. Unlike the membrane, heating cables must be spaced a minimum of 2 inches from walls, fixtures, and fixed cabinets, 8 inches from other heat sources, such as baseboard heaters, other fixed heating devices or fireplaces, 7 inches from the center line of toilet drains, and 4 inches from plumbing drains and forced air heating ducts. Measure the section or sections to be heated and calculate the corresponding area. Select the heating cable that most closely matches but does not exceed the area to be heated. For example, if a 35 square foot area is to be heated, select the heating cable with 32 square foot coverage rather than the heating cable with 37 and 1 half square foot coverage. The cable cannot be trimmed or shortened to fit. Any excess cable can be installed in a buffer zone. This is an area where floor warming wasn't planned and space for cable overrun was provided. For example, behind a toilet or adjacent to a door opening. Heating cables may also be installed six inches from the wall to create a buffer zone. In the case where there is excess heating cable and no space left in the buffer zone, the cable may be removed and reinstalled at an alternating three stud, two stud, three stud spacing. This can be done in the buffer zone or in localized areas where extra heat output may be desirable such as in front of vanities or bathtubs. The heating cable shall not be installed at a two-stud spacing in succession or at a one-stud spacing, period. All other spacing requirements, for example, from fixtures, heating sources, and plumbing drains, still apply. Visit Schluter.com to use our Dietrich Heat Calculation Sheet and our online Dietrich Heat Calculator to help with your project layout. The electrical preparation has already been completed. A dedicated circuit has been run to the thermostat electrical box. A branch circuit taken from an existing circuit providing power to other room heating devices would have been acceptable as well. A single gang deep electrical box or a double gang electrical box with a single gang mud ring is recommended to provide room for the wiring. The junction box must be sized according to the electrical code effective in your region and must consider the possible use of pigtails and the space occupied by the rear section of the thermostat. When using the Dietrich heat thermostats, the preparation includes the following. Install one or two sections of conduit from the electrical box to a hole at the base of the wall. The heating cable cold lead will run through a conduit, while the floor temperature sensors need to be threaded either inside the same conduit as the cold lead or in a separate conduit. Please note that the floor temperature sensors must be tested using an ohm meter or multimeter to verify accuracy prior to installation. The resistance will vary according to the ambient temperature. Connect the meter to the sensor leads and compare the measurement with the expected values in the heating cable tests log. Record the actual temperature and measured resistances in the tests log. Now we're ready to prepare for the membrane installation. The substrate must be clean even and load-bearing. Any leveling of the subfloor must be done prior to installing DetraHeat or DetraHeat Duo. Sweep the floor to remove any debris. For wood substrates, verify that subfloor panels are properly fastened to framing members. Tightly butted or tented seams must be addressed prior to installation. For concrete substrates, remove any films or curing compounds by grinding. If the concrete is particularly dry or porous, moisten it to help prevent premature drying or skinning of the bond coat. Any standing water must be removed prior to installation. Clean any dust from the substrate with a damp sponge. Measure and cut the matting using a utility knife or scissors. The planning and preparation are now complete. Dietra heat is installed simply and easily with thinset mortar. We will use Schluter All Set Modified Thinset Mortar to bond the matting to the wood substrate. Schluter Fast Set Rapid Setting Modified Thinset Mortar may be used as well. If you are not using a Schluter mortar, a modified thinset mortar is used to install the matting over wood. The mortar is mixed to a fairly fluid consistency, but still able to hold a notch. 
a one quarter inch by one quarter inch square notch trowel, or the Schluter Dietra Heat Dietra XL trowel, which features a one quarter inch by one quarter inch square notch design, is used to apply the mortar. Apply a thin layer of the mortar with the flat side of the trowel to produce solid contact with the substrate, and then comb additional mortar using the notched side of the trowel. Apply the Dietra heat fleece side down. and solidly embed in the mortar using a float or the Dietra roller. Lift up a corner of the membrane to check coverage. Proper installation results in full contact between the fleece webbing and the thin set mortar. Re-embed the membrane. This process is repeated over the entire floor. Aligning the studs between adjacent sheets of the Dietra heat will make subsequent heating cable installation easier. Once complete, replace the tape to mark the areas where fixtures will be placed. The installation of the Dietra heat is now complete. This product must be installed by a qualified person in accordance with the installation handbook and with the National Electric Code or Canadian Electric Code Part 1 as applicable. All electric connections must be made by a qualified electrician according to the electrical and building codes effective in your region. The electrical circuit for the heating cable has been turned off. In this application, we will use the Dietra Heat ERT thermostat mounted on a double-gang electrical box with a single-gang mud ring. The following electrical preparation was completed previously. In this installation, two sections of conduit were run from the electrical box to the base of the wall to protect the heating cable cold lead and floor temperature sensors. Each heating cable is subject to factory quality control. However, damage to the cables may happen after the product leaves the factory. In order to ensure that the heating cable quality remains unchanged throughout the installation process, a series of tests are conducted before cable installation, after cable installation, and after tile installation. Measurements are compared with factory values and recorded in the heating cable tests log. The owner must submit a copy of the completed tests log with the warranty registration card to Schluter Systems and retain the log for warranty purposes. The first series of tests is performed before removing the cable from the spool. If a break or damage is detected during the tests, return the heating cable to the original place of purchase. Test 1 is to check the heating cable conductor resistance. This test is required for warranty coverage. Connect an ohm meter or multimeter to the heating cable power leads to determine the conductor resistance. Verify that the measured resistance is within 10% of the factory resistance value printed on the spool. Record the factory value and reading in the log. Test 2 is to check for continuity between the heating cable conductor and ground braid. This test is also required for warranty coverage. Connect an ohm meter or multimeter to one of the heating cable power leads and the ground braid. In a successful test, the meter will display an I for infinity or OL for overload. This means the conductor is not touching the ground braid. Record the reading in the log. Test 3 is to check the heating cable conductor insulation. This test is not required but is recommended. If it is completed and submitted with the test log, the owner will receive an extended heating cable warranty. The insulation resistance test is performed to make sure there are no small breaks in the cable insulation, which may not be detected during the continuity test. Even small breaks can cause current leakage to ground, which would cause the GFCI to disable the floor heating system. Connect a megaohm meter set to 1000 volts to one of the heating cable power leads and the ground braid. The resistance measurement must be greater than one gigaohm or 1000 megaohms.
Record the reading in the log. If the heating cable passes all three tests, it can be installed in the DetraHeat or DetraHeat Duo membrane. These tests will be repeated to verify the cable is not damaged during the installation process. Test the floor temperature sensors using an ohm meter or multimeter to verify accuracy. The resistance will vary according to the ambient temperature. This test is required for warranty coverage. Connect the meter to the sensor leads and compare the measurement with the expected values in the heating cable tests log. Record the actual temperature and measured resistances in the tests log. Thread the heating cable cold lead through the designated conduit from the base of the wall to the thermostat electrical box. Mark where the cold lead to conductor splice will be placed. Install the splice at least three inches from the wall to limit risk of damage if baseboard is installed. Cut the membrane and subfloor if required and insert the splice. It may be necessary to temporarily secure the splice to the floor with thin set mortar or other adhesive, such as curdy fix or hot glue. Embed the heating cables between studs, making sure to leave space for the floor temperature sensors near the thermostat. A wood float can be used to help speed up the process, but use care not to damage the cable. For both 120 and 240 volt applications, the standard spacing between cable runs is three studs or three and five eighths inch. Cable may also be spaced at continuously alternating three stud, two stud intervals in isolated areas or over the entire floor. This practice may be desirable to increase heat output or to consume more cable length in a given area. Narrower spacing may result in overheating and damage to building structures. Wider spacing may produce inconsistent floor surface temperatures. Please refer to the Dietra Heat Installation Handbook for required spacing for 208 volt applications. A roller may also be useful to embed the cables in the matting. In this application, we split the floor into two areas to limit the longest single run of heating cable to 10 feet as required. Alternatively, the heating cable can be turned or a U-shaped jog created at 10-foot runs. The heating cable may not touch or cross itself or another heating cable. If you get stuck, simply remove and reapply the cable in a different pattern. Continue heating cable installation, maintaining the required spacing between the cable and fixture locations marked on the floor. The heating cable must not be modified in any way or cut to fit the space. This would change the cable resistance and could lead to a fire. Verify that the heating cable is embedded between studs in the membrane throughout its length. The heating cable installation is now complete. Repeat the three heating cable tests to verify the cable was not damaged during installation. In thin bed tile applications, the floor temperature sensor is installed within the tile bond coat. In the event of damage or defect, the sensor could only be replaced by removing tiles. To mitigate this risk, two sensors are supplied, one with the thermostat and one with the heating cable. Both sensors are installed, while only one is connected to the thermostat. In this case, if the first sensor is damaged, then the second sensor can be easily connected to the thermostat without removing tiles. Install the temperature sensors such that the tip of each sensor is located in the middle of the three stud spacing cable runs, at least 24 inches from the wall, no matter if the standard three stud cable spacing or the continuously alternating three two stud cable spacing option has been used. Mark the sensor locations on the Dietra heat matting. Temporarily remove the heating cable from the area and cut the matting to accommodate the sensors. Replace the heating cable once the cutting is complete. Place the floor temperature sensors where the matting has been cut. 
it may be necessary to temporarily secure the sensors to the floor with thin-set mortar or another adhesive, such as Curdy Fix or hot glue. Embed the sensor wires in the matting without overlapping or crossing the heating cable. Fasten a metal protection plate at the base of the wall to help prevent damage to the cables if a baseboard will be installed. The installation of the heating cable and floor temperature sensors is now complete. Floors can be made fully waterproof with DetraHeat or DetraHeat Duo if desired by sealing seams, penetrations, and floor-to-wall transitions with Schluter Curtiband waterproofing strips. Curtiband can be installed using any of our Schluter thin-set mortars or an unmodified thin-set mortar. The mortar is mixed to a fairly fluid consistency, but still able to hold a notch. A 1 quarter inch by 3 16 inch V-notch trowel or the Schluter Curdy trowel, which features a 1 8 inch by 1 8 inch square notch design, is used to apply the mortar. Apply thin-set mortar at the floor-to-wall transition. Fill the matting and comb additional mortar using the notched side of the trowel. The band may be creased prior to installation to help maintain tight corners and make subsequent tile setting as easy as possible. Place Curdy Band in the bonding mortar. Embed the band using the flat side of the trowel or a drywall finishing knife to ensure full coverage and remove air pockets. This process is repeated at all seams and at any penetrations, such as the floor temperature sensors and cold lead to heating cable splice, ensuring that a minimum two inch overlap is achieved. The waterproofing application is now complete. Tile is installed over DetraHeat and DetraHeat Duo using any of our Schluter thin-set mortars or unmodified thin-set mortar. Fill the matting with thin-set mortar and comb additional mortar over the matting using a trowel that is appropriate for the size of the tile. While the heating cable is protected by the matting, be careful when applying the mortar to not damage the cable with the notched trowel. Back buttering large format tiles is a useful way to help ensure proper coverage. The skim coat can fill in the concave area on the back of the tile and improve contact with the mortar combed on the substrate. Solidly embed the tiles in the setting material, making sure to observe the open time of the mortar. Repeat the heating cable and floor temperature sensor tests to verify the cable was not damaged during waterproofing and or tile installation. Finally, the thermostat is installed and connections are made. This video demonstrates the installation of the DetraHeat ERT thermostat. The DetraHeat E Wi-Fi thermostat is installed in the same manner. As a reminder, the power supply must be shut off and all electrical connections, including grounding the heating cable, must be made by a qualified electrician, according to the electrical and building codes effective in your region. Remove the back cover clip. Remove the faceplate from the thermostat power base by loosening the screw and tilting the thermostat upward. Loosen the screws until they stop. Insert the electrical line wires into the line terminals from the top. Refer to the back of the thermostat for proper wiring configuration. Secure the wires by tightening the screws. Insert the heating cable conductors into the load terminals from the bottom. Since there is no polarity, either heating cable conductor can be connected to either load terminal. Secure the conductors by tightening the screws. Replace the back cover clip. For ease of installation, we have formed the electrical line wires into an M or accordion shape. This will make it easier to fold them neatly into the electrical box. Fold the wires into the electrical box. 
thread the floor temperature sensors through the opening at the bottom right of the thermostat power base. Align and secure the thermostat power base to the electrical box. Strip the ends of the floor temperature sensors to expose the wires for ease of installation. Insert the floor temperature sensor wires into terminals C and D. Tighten the screws to secure the wires. Note that the floor temperature sensor wires have no polarity and can be interchanged between terminals C and D. Fold the secondary floor temperature sensor and secure to the power base. The power, heating cable, and floor temperature sensor connections are now complete. Finish the installation by replacing the thermostat faceplate and tightening the screw at the bottom of the unit. Remove the protective film from the face of the thermostat. DitraHeat is the only electric floor warming system that incorporates uncoupling technology to ensure that floors aren't susceptible to cracked tiles and grout. Using the DitraHeat membrane, heating cables can be installed wherever floor warming is desired and tile can be installed immediately. No need to wait for leveling compounds to dry, which makes for a simple and quick installation. DitraHeat Duo features a thicker bonding fleece that provides impact sound control and a thermal break. While maintaining ease of installation and time savings, the DitraHeat system is the ideal solution for bringing comfort to any tiled floor.